The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. My dear Christian friends, I'm so glad to be back after this long hiatus of Lent and early Easter days. I am back here to share with you the peace, or should I say the shalom, that Christ came to establish between us and God and between us and one another. Jesus rose early on that first day of the week, after that Friday in which he was crucified and died. On the evening of that same day, he appeared to the disciples. He made many other appearances between his resurrection and ascension, and I propose that for the following weeks, we examine some of the events that marked Jesus' life on earth before ascending into heaven. There are many rich lessons we can derive from that. Lesson number one, the power of love. Listen to what John wrote in John 20. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. Precious words. The disciples were all in a room, huddling together with the doors locked. They had seen what had happened to Jesus, and they thought maybe they will come after us now. And so they got together and locked the doors. They were also in a state of confusion. Nobody had yet seen Jesus, or had they? Some women said that an angel appeared to them, that the tomb was empty. Some said that Jesus had appeared and spoken to Mary Magdalene, and John and Peter had gone to the grave and seen that it was indeed empty, but they didn't see Jesus. Imagine the confusion, the apprehension, the fear in the disciples' hearts, even doubt. And all of a sudden, Jesus appears and stands among them. But without any delay, he says, Shalom. Shalom is peace be with you in Aramaic and Hebrew. And Jesus greeted them with this very familiar greeting, Shalom, peace be with you. All the confusion, the doubt, and the fear were dispelled instantly. The disciples must have thought, if he comes back, will he come back to get even with us? Will he fire us as his disciples? After all, they had betrayed him, denied him, and abandoned him. They had it coming. But the love of Jesus supersedes all those false fears. Peace be with you. He comes into our lives with his peace. And where there is peace, there is joy, there is life, there is hope. May he continue to grant his peace to each and every one of us as he did to the disciples. If they were afraid that he was going to avenge himself from them, they were mistaken. Not only does Jesus not fire them, but he, so to speak, renews the contract. He said again for the second time, peace be with you. And then he said this, as the Father has sent me, I am sending you. So he sends them into the world to tell everyone that Jesus had died, risen from the dead, and lives to all eternity, and wants to save everyone who believes in him as their Savior. Shalom, everyone. So long.